From Israel's Iron Dome to Iran's Oman, the world is now witnessing a war where air defense systems have taken center stage. And our next report tells you more details about the air defense capabilities of various countries and also the critical role that they play during a conflict. Take a look. It's been days of escalating strikes between the two long-standing enemies in West Asia, Iran and Israel. The aerial war between them has ramped up. The casualties of war include civilians who've been caught in flashpoint areas facing waves of attacks. Considering the warring nations don't share a border, the assault from both sides has been airborne. The war has amplified and demonstrated the critical role played by air defense systems. Intercepting and destroying projectiles, thereby thwarting, to a large extent, the aerial attacks. Let's take a look at the multi-layered air defense systems and their ever-increasing critical role in modern warfare. A mobile all-weather air defense system. This is Iron Dome, a signature component of Israel's defense armory. It is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of up to 70 kilometers. In recent years, the Iron Dome has been up against extended high-intensity bombardments on several fronts. It has come under attack from Iran, Hezbollah in Lebanon, Hamas in Gaza and the Houthis in Yemen. From 2011 to 2021, the United States opened its purse strings, contributing a total of $1.6 billion to the Iron Dome defense system, which was first deployed on the 27th of March 2011 near Beel Sheba in southern Israel. The next layer above the Iron Dome is David's Sling, also known as Magic Wand. It is designed to intercept enemy aircraft drones, tactical ballistic missiles, medium to short range rockets and cruise missiles fired from up to 300 kilometers away. With each David Sling costing about $1 million, the defense system, which derives its name from the biblical account of David and Goliath, acts as a middle-tier layer in defense between the Iron Dome and Arrow systems. Both Arrow 2 and 3 are components of Israel's multi-layered missile defense system, operating at different altitudes and possessing different ranges. Arrow 2, which has a range of 100 kilometers, primarily intercepts and destroys short and medium range ballistic missiles in the upper atmosphere, about 50 kilometers from the Earth whereas Arrow 3 has a range of 2,400 kilometers. Let's take a look at how Iran fares compared to Israel in terms of air defense capability. Iran has in its arsenal several long, medium and short-range air defense missile systems. But top on its list is its indigenously developed Arman mobile long-range anti-ballistic missile system. With an ability to cover 360 degrees, Arman can engage simultaneously with six different targets at 120 to 180 kilometers. Iran also has the latest S-300 version, the S-300 PMU-2, a Russian-made long-range surface-to-air missile system. Designed to counter a variety of threats, S-300 can intercept aircraft, cruise missiles and short to medium-range ballistic missiles.
An upgrade to the S-300 family of missiles, this is Russia's S-400 Triumph, a mobile surface-to-air missile system developed in the 1990s. It has played a key role in the ongoing 40-month-long Russia-Ukraine war. With a range of up to 400 kilometers, the S-400 Triumph is capable of engaging aircraft, UAVs and cruise missiles and has a terminal ballistic missile defense capability. Additionally, Russia has Buck missile systems, a family of self-propelled medium-range surface-to-air missile systems designed to counter cruise missiles, smart bombs, rotary wing aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles. The missile system gained notoriety in 2014 when a Buck missile, according to an investigation, was used to shoot down Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 over Ukraine. Experts weigh in that the capabilities of S-400 Triumph are roughly comparable to the U.S. Patriot air defense system. The U.S. sent this air defense system to Ukraine in April 2023 to fend off the barrage of Russian missiles. One of the most widely used air defense solutions globally, the Patriot air defense system, protects against aircraft, cruise missiles and tactical ballistic missiles with a range of 160 to 170 kilometers and a 24 kilometer maximum altitude. Inspired by the Russian S-300, China's HQ-9 system offers a 125 kilometer range and 27 kilometer altitude. Equipped with advanced radars and guidance systems, the HQ-9 air defense system can intercept a wide variety of threats, including aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles and ballistic or cruise missiles. This year, during Operation Sindhud against Pakistan, India unveiled its indigenous advanced air defense system Akash Teel, which translates to Sky Arrow. Through automation, real-time sensor integration and decentralized engagement authority, Akash Teer can neutralize any incoming aerial threats from fighter jets to drones and missiles. Given the dangerous times we find ourselves in, the air defense systems are not just crucial for protecting military assets from aerial threats, but could be the difference between life and death for scores of civilians.